one of my friends gave me a present. Well, not really a present. I got to give it back to him. Because these things are surprisingly expensive. This is a Berna, eight, uh, no, Berna pistol. Uh, Berna HD, I believe, is what they actually call it. It uses 8 gram CO2 cartridges because 12 grams are not good enough. <laughs> no, it's because they're trying to do the apple closed root of everything. So, this isn't just out of the bag. I, I actually went through this a little bit so I would make sure I had all the parts and make sure I know what to do. Now, the reason why I'm filming this is there's very little on the internet about actual maintenance on this gun. As far as I can tell, unlike every other paintball gun on the planet, you can't actually, you know, take out, clean the barrel, do anything like that that you normally have to do because of broken paintballs. And this one does have... Do, so this does use basically paintballs, except these are nylon. These are the kinetic rounds, apparently. Um, yeah, kinetic rounds. Cool. Why in the U.S. do we not have 9mm PAK traumatic rounds other than the ATF sucks? And yeah, okay, this is basically how I got it though. Just completely apart. And I'm gonna show you how to go through this and put it back together. The cool thing about this is all the screws are basically 1032, with the exception of the safety screws, which are 440 actually. Here's another funny part about the, the screws. At least on this gun, the screws for the safety are different. One uses a 50, 50 thousandths hex wrench. The other one uses a 9 sixteenths? 1 sixteenth. 1 sixteenth. Why did I say 9 sixteenths? So that's hilarious. So I'm just keening this a little bit. I'm probably going to fast forward through a lot of this just to show you guys. How much of a pain in the ass this thing is. These are super tiny. Who knows where you could get those. Yeah, if you lose any of these parts, you're basically fucked because they're they're super apple-like in their want of how just how they run stuff. So first thing first, bracket for the CO2 cartridge using the shorter. 1032 screw and nope also another funny thing is this this screw is a different size from the one we will use next the longer one for the trigger trigger assembly so that is frankly hilarious <laughs> If if you lose any parts, hopefully you can make them again. Because, like I said, this is going to be impossible to get parts for without sending it back and having them tell tell you, no, you shouldn't have done that. Right now, I'm just trying to assemble this uh, part on the side of it. See if you can kind of see it's not totally lining up. There we go. So there we go. Put that in. Because this is actually what trips the sears. I'm going to put this in before it falls out again. Uh, 
screwed that up sweet all right yeah, as a hammer block safety ha everything has to be timed right so I haven't got a good fix on, uh, on what this actually what way this actually goes, but I believe this is the case. So you stick it like here, because this has a pocket in the hammer to go into when it's in the right position. So it can't go off. Um, yeah, so it can't go off. Wrong. I just need to make sure I time this right. Because up is safe, down is fire. So let's put it in the fire. Put it in the fire. Put this on. Because they have two little slots milled into the side of it. The, that that's the detent. That's for the detent safety detent. So if it's in the lower position, yeah, it goes like this. And of course, this is, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I will try to drop everything after every major move so you guys can see what's going on. And also, if you guys have any idea of better ways to do any of this, let me know because that would be a that would be a that'd be something good to figure out. All right, there we go. So now I can screw this part in and probably not have to take it out again. I'm going to try to keep my head out of this. So there we go. All right, so that piece comes back here. I'm not gonna worry about that quite yet. This goes into there, because there's another detent that this acts on, which I'm not entirely sure why they even have that detent in there. It looks, yeah, totally like you don't need it. stuff in next and I'm missing a little washer hey there it is so this goes on top this one goes on the bottom and now these are sears for the hammer so they use a split kind of a split sear and I'm actually not going to install this one until after I install this because this goes right there. And that forces this down to actually fire or something because it's actually got a button back here to press and that is a regular poppet valve, but yeah. And then we got these two springs that go into the back of here to push forward on the sears. So I'll worry about that once I install that. Alright, 
let's install let's install this this block first actually so that might make it easier so that slides right in past there I have to get sears out of the way and everything that slips in I'm probably going to try to leave this on cocked for now until I can I bet you they have a tool for this that I don't have Yeah, there's like no disassembly guides. There, there's one for Mercy, but that one's not very good, honestly, because it's just him staring at the camera with this gun sitting right in front of him. And you cannot see a damn thing. It's just like he's trying to flex on you and say, oh, I can take this thing apart. Well, great. How do you do that? And honestly, there was this Czech, I think it's Czech, a Czech scuba site that sells these things too. It actually had the best uh, pictures I could have found on this. I just want to try to make sure these are lubricated best I can so I don't have any gas leaks because that would be such a bad deal with this. Not even be funny. Okay, that goes together. That went together a little bit better, easier than I thought it would. But the sear spring popped out. There we go. Yay, okay. Goes like this. Oh, it's double action. I was I was figuring that was the case, but I didn't want to guess. All right, let's get the safety back together. All right, so now that I got that figured out, exactly. So you load the detent into it. Load the spring into it. And, oh, yep. And the best way I've found is to use this little tiny Allen key from uh, just one of the mini micro sets. And just, yeah, you're not going to see very well in here. I'm pretty much doing this way I feel myself. Just get it in there. I don't know if there's a stop in there or what. It's down as fire. That release that puts that down. So you see this hammer block safety goes down when it's on safe and then up on fire. So the hammer block will go into the hammer the hole in the hammer sweet okay so i haven't screwed everything up completely now when you pressure this spring we need to add the other 
sear onto it. And the other sear goes into this. And like I said, there's a Czech scuba diving uh, website. You do a lot of scuba supplies. that actually has a cutaway in the corner from this. And that's like the only... I'm going to have to take this part again. I think I'm going to have to. Maybe if I ever fix one of these things again, I'll do an actual how to put this thing back together instead of a lazy one. Now, feed ramp down. I know this kind of goes like this. And maybe I screwed up already by screwing that in, which I think I did. I think I need to have this a little bit looser. I'm betting there's a fixture they do this on. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we've got that in there. Got that in the trough. All right. Got a better, got a tool made. Shove that in there like that. Park it more so that I can get this shoved into there, which we probably should have done first. Pop that out again. This is going to take me a bunch. It's going to take me a while to figure out exactly order of operations. Okay. So everything's tight. Everything's good. Cool. It's just going to be a pain to get this in. And it's going to take some time. It's going to take some frustration. go. Make sure the sears are free. Yep, sears are free. Yeah, that's forcing. Okay, good. That's on there. The sears are in the right spot. That's there. This, I just need to unscrew a little bit to get it back in the right hole. Okay. Bear, look at the mag release. Got 
that put into the right spot. Anything else I'm looking at? No, 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 no. All this is good. There. Back together. Well, part of it is. Yeah, that's not an Allen key, but whatever. Now, let's see. Okay, so that needs to come forward so that doesn't force out. Okay, good. Okay, other long, longer one. Let's see. That feels like it's firing. It's safe, it looks like it just kind of pulls that back. That's not even the right size. Did they, cust did they custom order like the wrong size screws? Well, ones with weird heads on them. Now, this is YFS, so this is going to be a standard one. Or maybe my friend, friend, oh, I, did, I was pushing them in the right side. Maybe they just replaced a whole bunch of shit. Who knows? This is the first time I've ever heard of one of these things is when I saw this one. All the screws are 1032. They're low profile heads. So they're easy enough to get. these okay so you see these two little holes those are for the damn tiny ones and then if i'm right this thing just kind of smacks on and then you put this, the rod through the back of it shit Okay. Yep. And it explodes. Let's try this a different way this time. Let's see if I can't shove this in here first and then uh, wait. 
this thing I'm going to do now. So that sticks in there. That sticks further down than halfway, so that's happy. Stick this in here. So hammer has to go in after sears because sears are just not fun in this. <sighs> Man, this whole thing's just fun. Oh, good. Well. Oh, good. <laughs> there's the other sear spring. Another sear. The spacer between the sears. Second, second sear. Probably a semi-auto sear. Or, yeah, I think it's a semi-auto sear. Use the lockout type thing. <clears throat> Get that in. Get this in. Ah, I think what I wonder. I wonder if I put this all the way out, will it force the sears? No, it does not force the sears back at all. Okay. So, yeah, I was kind of hoping for that. Like, if I got it together, the sears would stay back if I made this adjustment block all the way back. But thinking about it just now, That'd be a bad way to do things. If somebody screws that all the way in, now the gun sears just aren't working at all. Now you get a new, now you get a gun being sent back because, oh, it doesn't fire. That just needed a little bit of work. That didn't even need any work. It just needed a adjustment. Okay. So, check the sears. Sears go back. Sears go back. I force that in. Put the socket into there. Through through it to get a little more location. First thing first. There we go. That's in. That's in. I know that springs in now. Okay. That is inside the piece that's supposed to go into. 
this I can kind of manhandle around a little bit. There we go. Now before anything goes sprung. Let's get the screw in. Yay! Now I don't have any more any more spare parts <laughs> laying around. Nope. I'm not even sure if this side is even 1 16th. It's kind of loose in there. I'm almost wondering if they have metric heads. Why would they have metric heads? That doesn't make any sense. I don't even know who would do that. Who, who, who as a manufacturer would make metric sized heads with standard with 1032 threads? I guess if you paid somebody enough, anybody would, but why would you have that much extra tooling cost into something like this? Okay. Now we're back to this one. Two tiny ass holes, two tiny ass springs, and everything just kind of falls on top. This is about the stupidest design I've seen for a while. It's like Chinese mystery pistol type of deal. And everything's magnetic. Now we have this piece. Flappers goes like this. Okay, so that's together. Now that has a collar there. Shit. Make sure the barrel's in position before you do this. Because these springs are just insanely tiny. I'm not even picking these up. These are magnetic. Spring in there, spring in there. Okay, one side in, other side in, all going forward. Yay. Okay. So that's a loaded chamber indicator, kind of. Let's see what size this is. There we go. Let's gas her up and see what happens. Freaking apple of the paintball gun world. You want to be something special. So this shouldn't gas up until the first shot. Okay. So far, so good. I'm going to set up my range.
So we got a couple of shots in here. Let's pull the trigger and see if it. Oh, safe. Sounds like it works. That's bouncing around. Sweet. Job done.